this is kind of a different sort of versus battle that people were asking me to do, Sinestro versus Doctor Doom. I did a little bit of light research on the two of them, because I was like, I don't think people will really put those two normally in a, in a contest against each other. And then I realized there's quite a few places where people discuss this. Normally it's done in the whole, you know, Doom wins because he's Doom, or Sinestro wins because he has a better power ring. So I'm going to go with a Doctor Doom versus Yellow Lantern Sinestro. So as long as I do a, a, a nine criteria system, you know, intelligence, fine ability, strength, speed, durability, this is how well do you take a beating, <clears throat> and vulnerability, energy projection, versatility, and x-factor. So we'll get into this. Intelligence. This one, depending on how you look at it, they both play games on the cosmic scale. Sinestro has been able to actually dupe the Guardians into doing what he wanted to. That was the reason we had the Sinestro Core War. He also was able to help mass produce his power ring as well as make multiple central power batteries. That, that's impressive. It's very impressive. He's also spent time under the tutelage of a cosmic entity. That's, that's actually very, very, very impressive. So he has a great militaristic background. He spent some time in science, but not a tremendous amount. And he's been considered essentially a universal threat. I had to put that against Doom. Doom has an expert knowledge of all things magic and almost all things science, up to and including celestial technology. So you're a guy who knows pretty much all things science, very good when it comes to politics because he runs his own country, as well as pretty much all things magic. So I have to give the intelligence edge to Doom. Fighting ability. Ironically, Sinestro's got a lot more military background, a lot more actual fighting experience. And I've seen him actually do pretty decently when it comes to fisticuffs. Doom doesn't get his hands dirty very often. He doesn't like to. He has beaten, of course, a lion with his bare hands, but I will still say that someone who's got decades of military experience is still definitely a better fighter. So get that to Sinestro. Strength. That's Doom. He's got on a suit. <clears throat> Speed. Sinestro... His rings are very comparable to Green Lantern rings in the fact that they can hit a beyond light speed. It's a lot faster individual. Durability. This is how well do you recover from injury as well as your overall stamina. This this one I'm gonna give. This one has to go to Sinestro. He's got a ring that's gonna allow him to pretty much recover a lot faster when it comes to injury. He's also gonna have a lot better stamina. You know, he actually is, he's, he, fight, he fights a lot just by himself. So he's got a tremendous amount of stamina and fortitude, much more than what you see with Doom. Doom is more of, I'll send an army to help soften up my opponents, or I'm going to finish them off very fast. Where Sinestro's had a lot more longer, drawn out conflicts. So I'm going to give the durability edge to Sinestro. And vulnerability. Again, this one comes down to Doom, suit, force fields. He's got a lot more going for him. I'll skip it and I'll go to X-Factor, and then the, the last two kind of have a lot of back and forth to them. X-Factor, I'm going to go with Doom. Both these characters, Doom and Sinestro, have the ability to kind of lose because they don't feel themselves to be truly deserving. However, Sinestro completed his, his mission and he killed the Guardians and became one with Parallax. That is a huge win for him. I think Doom is able to pull off, Doom has pulled off more of those wins, he loses them more often, but I still think that Doom has enough random abilities in different uh, facets to his character that allow him to pull off the victory. So now we're down to energy projection and versatility. These two, when I first started going through them, <clears throat> knowing what a power ring is capable of, and knowing that Sinestro has broken a Green Lantern ring before, what he can do is ridiculous. He probably has the ability to not only destroy a planet, but also rebuild a planet. So I think Sinestro definitely has it in just the raw ability. And then with the versatility, he's got decades of experience wielding a ring of some form or another. 
So he knows how to do virtually everything with that ring. And there's probably nothing he hasn't already seen. So initially I gave, so before I did this, there, there were three to four, I initially gave energetic and versatility to Sinestro. Therefore Sinestro would end up being able to defeat Doom more often than not. You're probably thinking about Doom has a master of master background when it comes to magic. As well as a mind transference ability which he rarely ever uses. <clears throat> Taking those abilities into consideration, Sinestro with the Green Lantern Ring was able to block his mind from being red. So he's able to block telepathy with the Green Lantern Ring. I'm pretty sure when he was building the Yellow Lantern Ring, he probably threw that ability in. Other people have mentioned, well, Sinestro's got nothing when it comes to battling magic. Except for the fact that he has, of course, gone to a planet of Eastmouth where you've got demons who practice a level of magic that's probably comparable, if not slightly above where Doom is at when it comes to the amount of magic they have, because they're innate magic using abilities, magic using creatures. And Sinestro does have some of built-in defenses against magic. Someone else mentioned, what about Doom just as an army of the mindless, mindless ones? Okay, well, an army of mindless ones probably won't help that much against a guy who can summon an army of his own thoughts and fears. You know, so almost everything that Doom can do, Sinestro's got either an ability to stop or an ability to match. Now, these two guys just dropped off in the middle of nowhere. Doom's suit has a lot of abilities. I don't think he's going to have with him, you know, an ability to warp reality. He doesn't commonly keep that on his suit. He's not going to, he's not, he's also going to bring his teleportation room with him. It's not built into his suit. He's going to have a lot of abilities with him, but he's taking on that guy who, whatever he can think of, he will be able to do. And plus, Sinestro, in the New 52, was able to actually take his Green Lantern ring and make a duplicate of it. But the only time we've seen that before, with the exception of the of one of the very first times that Hal Jordan made duplicates back before the first crisis, was something that a Guardian can do. So therefore, Sinestro kind of has a Guardian-level experience when it comes to wielding both a green ring as well as a yellow ring, which gives him a lot more versatility when it comes to knowing the full capabilities of what his rings can do. So with that, I do definitely give the edge to Sinestro. He's, he's bringing a, a power ring, he's got tremendous amount of knowledge when it comes to using it, and by himself he actually is pretty much a global, he's a, a, a cosmic level threat.